Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, he reached Karbala. And when Hussein ibn Ali reached Karbala, he said to those who he was with, he asked them, he said to them, Ma hadihi, what is this place? They said to him, this place is called Karbala. Hussein ibn Ali, he replied by saying, Karbun wa bala. It's a place that has uh, distress and problems. When the army of Umar ibn Sa'ad reached, and the number of people they were was 4,000, they spoke to Hassan ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. And he requested from Hassan ibn Ali um, to go with him. He said to Hassan ibn Ali, come with me. And we go to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. Hussein ibn Ali, Fa'aba, he refused. He said, I'm not going to go to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. But when Hussein saw that the matter was very serious, and al Amra Jiddun, that the matter is serious, he spoke to Umar ibn Sa'ad. He said to him, Inni ukhayiruka, I'm going to give you a choice, an option. Bayna thalathati umur in three matters. Fakhtan minha ma shi'ta, choose whichever one of those you want. He said to him, what are those three? Wa what are the three that you're, the options that you're giving me? He said to him, Anta da'ni arja' That you let me go and go back to where I came back from. Or adhabu ila thaghri min thughuri muslimin Or I go to um, um, from the borders of the Muslim lands where they patrol. Or adhabu ila Yazid or I go to Yazid ibn Muawiyah and I place my hand in his hand in Sham. And this shows you that Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhum, it seems that he had in his heart some respect for Yazid ibn Muawiyah. And that's why he wanted to go to Yazid ibn Muawiyah to give him bay'ah. But he didn't want to meet Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. He didn't want to see him. Umar ibn Sa'ad then said, Okay, yes, no problem. Arsil anta ila Yazid. You send a message to Yazid. Wa arsilu, wa ursilu ana ila Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. And I will send a message to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. Wa nanzuru and we will relook at the matter, mada yakunu fil amri, what the matter is going to be. But the real truth is, فَلَمْ يُرْسِلِ الْحُسَيْنَ إِلَى يَزِيدِ Hussein did not send anything to Yazid ibn Muawiyah. وَأَرْسَلَ عُمَرُ بْنُ سَعَدٍ And Umar ibn Sa'ad, he sent a messenger إلى عبيد الله بن زياد to عبيد الله بن زياد. When the message, were, it was brought to عبيد الله بن زياد. And he was told that Hussein ibn Ali has chosen one of these three options. He wants these three options, one of those to be fulfilled for him. Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad said, I'm pleased with any of them. Whichever one he wants, Hussein ibn Ali, let him choose. But at that time, when the message reached Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, and he was allowing Hussein ibn Ali to... Uh, to take whichever of the three, there was a person next to him. And his name was Shamar ibn Di al Joshan. He was with Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad at that time. And he was from the Min al Muqarrabin, Min ibn Yazid. Min ibn Ziyad. He was one of those people who was very close to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. Those people Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad used to consult. And he was a bitan al an evil individual. He said to him, No, wallahi. He said to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, No, wallahi, no. Hatta yanzila ala hukmika until he comes under your leadership. How is, how dare that Ubaidullah, uh, that uh, Hussein gives us the option of one of three? Never. 
until he comes under your leadership. When that was said, فَاغْتَرَّ عُبَيْدُ ibn Ziyad. عُبَيْدُ ibn Ziyad became conceit, full of himself, arrogance. And then he said, نعم, yes. حَتَّى يَنْزِلَ عَلَى حُكْمِ أَنْتِهُ حُسَيْنِ بْنَ Ali comes under my leadership. I will give him no other option. Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, what he did was, he told Shamr ibn Di al Jawshan to go, to go to Hussein Ali. He said, go to him and tell him, Hatta yanzila ala hukmida until he comes to my leadership. Talk to him. Some of the stories they mention that Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad said to Shamar ibn Adil uh, Shamar to go to Umar ibn Sa'ad first. To tell Umar ibn Sa'ad that Hussein has to come under the leadership of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. If Umar disagrees that, um, that you take over the matter and go to Hussein ibn Ali and deal with it and forget Umar ibn Sa'ad. Because um, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, he prepared Umar ibn Sa'ad with 4,000 men. And these 4,000, he wanted uh, Umar ibn Sa'ad to go to Ray, uh, to go to Ray, and for him to be the leader of Ray. So the 4,000 army that Umar ibn Sa'ad has, he was meant to go to Ray. But Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad said to him, don't go to Ray, go to Hussein ibn Ali first, deal with this matter, and then after that you can go to Ray. Because he promised him uh, the wilaya of Ray. So Shamar ibn Di al Jawshan, he went, he conveyed the message um, to Hussein ibn Ali. And he told him that you have to come under the leadership of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. Hussein ibn Ali refused. He said his famous statement, لا والله ibn Nubaya in the name of Allah. لا أنزل على حكم عبيد الله ibn Ziyad أبدا. I will never fall under the leadership of عبيد الله ibn Ziyad. When that happened, Hussein ibn Ali only has 72 horse, horsemen. And the army of Kufa, Ubaidullah army he sent, are in total, altogether, they are 5,000. So when the two armies stood in front of each other, Hussein ibn Ali took one last opportunity. He started to speak to the people, to the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, the army that Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad sent. He said to them, Raji'u an fusakum, revise yourselves. Revise the matter. Look into it again. وَحَسِبُوهَا Account yourselves. Is it befitting? هَلْ يَصْلُحُ لَكُمْ قِتَالَ مِثْلِي Is it befitting? قِتَالُ مِثْلِي To kill somebody like me. وَأَنَا بْنُ بِنْتِ نَبِيِّكُمْ And I am the son of the daughter of the Prophet ﷺ. وَلَيْسَ عَلَى وَجْهِ الْأَرْضِ And there is no one on the face of this earth. A son a son, Ibn Binti Nabiyin Ghairi. There is no son who is the son of the daughter of the Prophet on the face of this earth other than me today. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, In my affairs, Hussein said, Hadani these two, Hassan and Hussein, Sayyida Shababi Ahl Jannah, that they are both, that they are both the masters of the youngsters in Jannah. He, he, uh, he spoke to them. He told them to leave the affairs of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. And he, oh, he asked them to come with him. But the people who came to فَضَّمَّ لِلْحُسَيْنِ مِنْهُمْ ثَلَاثُونَ Only 30. From them was Al-Hurru ibn Yazid al-Tamimi who was before the who, who was the leader of the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. It was said to Hurr ibn Yazid al-Tamimi, it was said to him, Anta jita ma'ana amir al-muqaddimati wal-ana tadhabu ila al-Husayn. You came out with us, the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, and you were the front, front men. You were the leader. 
You were the captain. You were the uh, you were the the head of the army, and now you go to the army of Hussein ibn Ali. Hurrum ibn Yazid al-Tamimi replied by saying, "Why hakum destruction be to you guys? Wallahi by Allah, inni ukhayru nafsi bayn al-jannah wa al-nar. By Allah, I'm going to give my choice between jannah and nar. Am I going to be choosing between jannah and nar? Wallahi by Allah." لا أختار على الجنة والله I'm not going to choose over جنة ولو قطع ولو قطعت وأحرقت even if I was cut into pieces and I was burnt I will never choose نار over جنة after that حسين بن علي he prayed ظهر with عصر and it was on a Thursday rather حسين بن علي he said to all of them منكم إمام for you guys there's going to be an imam وَمِنَّا إِمَامٌ And from us is going to be an imam. They said, no. There's not going to be an imam from you guys and an imam from us. No, not at all. بَلْ نُسَلِّ خَلْفَكَ Rather, we're going to pray behind you. فَصَلُّوا خَلْفَ They all prayed behind Hussein, Dhuhr and Asr. فَلَمَّا قَرُبَ وَقْتَ الْمَغْرِبِ When the time of Maghrib came close, when the time of Maghrib came close, the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, they came forward. Towards Hussein ibn Ali. And at that time, Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, his sword and everything wasn't out in the open. When he saw their horses coming closer, Hussein ibn Ali, he was, he was sleeping. He said, Ma hada, What is this? They said to him, Innam taqaddamu. They came forward. He then said, um, Go and check and speak to them. And ask them, وَقُولُوا لَهُمْ Say to them, مَاذَا يُرِيدُونَ What do they want? Twenty men, twenty men with horses, they went. And the person who was leading them was Al-Abbas ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, Hussein's brother. Hussein's brother. فَكَلَّمَهُمْ فَكَلَّمُوهُمْ Sorry, he spoke to them. وَسَأَلُوهُمْ He asked them, Why are you guys coming forward? They said, إِمَّا أَنْ يَنْزِلَ عَلَى حُكْمِ عُبَيْدُ اللَّهِ بْنُ زِيَانِ Either Hussein is going to come under the leadership of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, or he has to fight with us. Um, Abbas ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib said, حتى نخبر أبا عبد الله. Give us a chance, a time, so we can go to Hussein ibn Ali and we can tell him. فرجعوا إلى الحسين. They came back to Hussein. وأخبروه. They told him what they said. فقال he said, قولوا لهم. Say to them, أمهلون هذه الليلة. Let them wait for us tonight. And tomorrow we will tell them the answer to this. So I can pray to my Lord tonight. I love. And for me to pray to for my Lord. I love to. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Fabata laylatahu. He slept that night. That night. Sorry, he spent, sorry, he spent that whole night praying for Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, asking for forgiveness. Supplicating to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He was doing that. وَمَنْ مَعْهُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَجَأَجْمَعِينَ And those who were with him, may Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala forgive them all. When the year was 61 Hijriyah, that Friday morning after they prayed that whole night, the armies, the two armies, they came face to face. And Hussein ibn Ali, he refused أن يستأثر لعبيد بن زياد for him to be a captive for عبيد الله بن زياد he refused and as you can all see the two sides of the army they're both not the same غير متكافئتين they're not equal to one another and the army that were with حسين بن علي they all saw أنهم لا طاقة لهم بهذا الجيش they knew that they had not they didn't have enough men to fight Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, they realized. They knew that. But the only reason why they fought was why? فَصَارَ هَمُّهُمُ الْوَحِيدُ The only aspiration and the only motive for them to fight, knowing that they would not stand the army of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad was الْمَوْتُ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ الْحَسَنِ بْنَ عَلِيٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْهُمَا They just wanted to die shoulder to shoulder to Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. And they were فَأَصْبَحُوا يَمُوتُونَ And they started to all drop one after the other. الْوَاحِدُ تِلْوَ الْآخَرِ One drops, then the other one drops, and the other one drops, each individual dying. 
hatta fanu jami'an until everyone died wa lam yabqa minhum ahadun and not one of them was left illa al husain ibn ali radiyallahu an except husain ibn ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma was left and his son ali ibn al has husain who was sick zain al abidin they were the only two who were left wa baqiya al husain ba'da dhalika naharan tawila and Hussein spent that whole day, that whole day by himself, walking around. No one was coming forward to him. No one wants to kill him. All of them are aware. They don't want to spill the blood of the grandson of the messenger. The matter stayed for that long. No one's coming forward to him. He's standing there by himself with his sword until Shamr ibn Dhi al Joshan. He screamed. Fasaha. He screamed at the people. And he said to them, Why hakum destruction be to you guys? Thakilatkum ummahatukum, may your mother lose each and every one of you. Ahituh, siege him. Go around him. Waqtuluh, kill him. So what did they do? They went around him, radiallahu ta'ala an Hussein. And they went around them with their horses and their swords. And Hussein, whenever they, he, they came close to him, he, whoever came close, he would kill them. But as we're all aware of the statement that the Arabs say, وَلَكِنَّ الْكَثْرَةَ تَغْلِبُ الْشَجَاعَةَ But number will always overcome bravery. Courage is nothing in the eyes of number. When they, nobody wants to go forward, Hussein ibn Ali, no one wants to kill him. Shamar, he screamed at the people. He then said to them, مَاذَا تَنْتَظِرُونَ What are you guys waiting for? أَقْدِمُوا Go forward. فَتَقَدَّمُوا They went forward to Hussein. فَقَتَلُوهُ They killed him. The person who physically killed Hussein is said one of two people. Some say Sinan ibn Anas al Nakhai killed him. And the next one is Shamar. قَبَّحَهُمُ اللَّهُ May Allah destroy them. وَبَعْدَ أَنْ قُتِلَ الْحُسَيْنِ When Hussein was killed, his head was cut. And it was taken to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad in Kufa. To show him that Hussein was killed. They cut Hussein's head and they took it and they brought it to who? They brought it um, to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. He took a, a twig and he started to place it in the nose, in the ears, in the mouth of Hussein's face and he's playing around with his head. And as he was doing that, Anas ibn Malikin came by. And he stood over him and he said to him, Wallahi, you're the evilest person I've ever seen. لَقَدْ رَأَيْتُ I saw Rasulullah, the messenger of Allah, يُقَبِّلُ مَوْضِعَ قَصِيبِكَ مِنْ فِيهِ Wallahi, I saw the messenger of Allah, sallam, kissing the places where you put the... Th I saw the Prophet kiss him on his lip, on his cheeks. As a young kid, I saw the Prophet do that. And today you're playing around with it like that. Ibrahim al nakhai said, as Imam al-Tabarani narrated in his Mu'jam al-Kabir, sahih, a chain of narration which is authentic, Ibrahim al nakhai said, if I was from those people who killed Hussein, law kuntu fi man qatal al Hussein, if I was from those people who killed Hussein, or I was from those who fought against Hussein, thumma udkhiltu al-Jannah, and then I was put into Jannah after that, istahiyaytu, I would be shy, and amurra ala al-Nabi for me to go by the Prophet, and for him to look at my face, I'll be shy of him. If I killed Hussein and I went to Jannah, I would be shy for the messengers to see my face. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who was killed with Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib? Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. From his family. The people that were killed with Hussein ibn Ali were his brothers who were from his father's side. Ali ibn Abi Talib's children. Ja'far was killed. Abbas was killed, Abu Bakr was killed, Muhammad was killed, Uthman was killed, and these were all his brothers. Also his own children, his son Abdullah was killed, his older Ali, he had two sons that were Ali, the older Ali was killed. But Ali, Zaynul Abidin, he wasn't killed. And the children of Hassan were killed, Abdullah, Qasim, and Abu Bakr were killed. Also the, the children of Aqil was killed. 
the children of Aqil, they were killed. Aqil, who's the brother of who? The, the brother of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Ja'far was killed. Abdullah was killed. Abdurrahman was killed. Abdullah ibn Muslim was killed. Uh, ibn Aqil. Muslim ibn Aqil was killed. Because he was killed before in Kufa. The children of Abdullah ibn Ja'far were killed. Aun and Muhammad were both killed. How many were killed from the Alul Bayt? 18 men were killed from the Alul Bayt. All of them were killed in one battle. In a battle that they weren't equal towards. Um, Hussein ibn Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the man who killed him, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, who ordered the killing of Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, he didn't remain for very long. And he didn't stay for very long. Rather, Al Mukhtar ibn Abi Ubaid, he, he done intiqam in Hussein. He retaliated and took revenge for Hussein ibn Ali ibn, uh, uh, Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. Because Mukhtar ibn Abi Ubaid, he was from those people who deceived Muslim ibn Aqil. He, he deceived who? He deceived Muslim ibn Aqil. And he also deceived Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. He didn't support him. He didn't help him. Rather, the people of Kufa, the only person who stood up for Hussein ibn Ali from the people of Kufa was Al-Hurr ibn Yazid al-Tamimi and those 30 that came with him. Those 30 were the only ones. As for the remaining of other Ahl Kufa, Khazaluhu, they deceived him. And it's sad because you see a people who they deceived Hussein ibn Ali. They're the ones who killed Hussein ibn Ali. Ba'adhalika, they claimed, uh, they claimed the innocency and that they've lost Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. Brothers and sisters, that is a summary of what took place uh, and an overview of the story that happened in Karbala. Inshallah ta'ala in my upcoming sits I'm going to go through inshallah ta'ala the aqeedah of the iya Shia and the Rafidah and how they came into place in more details inshallah ta'ala uh, 